what is up guys welcome to your 22nd intermediate Java tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over the init method and what the init method is is it's pretty much well it is a method that is inside J applet so we inherit it by default but what we're going to be doing is overwriting it and pretty much putting some stuff in it that we want to happen so let's go ahead and I already imported what I need to import and also extend J applet because you know you obviously need to do that and let's go ahead and build a program that takes two numbers from the user and pretty much adds them together and prints out the answer so pretty much like a little mini calculator so we first need a private variable private double sum because sum you know seems like an appropriate variable name and now what we need to do is overwrite this method in it so public void in it and it doesn't take any parameters and what in it is short for is initial initialization or however you say it irrelevant and what happens is before your applet even loads or does anything at all this is what happens first so if you were building a calculator before it even started calculating anything what you need to do is get numbers from them to begin with so let's go ahead and put string I'll put fn for first number and then go ahead and put j option pain and you guys should uh, know this from hopefully you've been watching my other tutorial so I'm not going to go ahead and explain all this and just go ahead and put show input dialog and this is pretty much like a prompt box and the prompt is enter first number so whatever number they enter it's going to be stored in the string variable fn and later we're going to be converting that string into a double so go ahead and copy this and paste it right below it and instead of FN write SN and instead of first number write second so now the first thing we built is we gave them two little dialog boxes one place to open to enter their first number one place to enter their second number and in case they didn't know they're gonna be adding these numbers together so now what we need to do is we have two numbers but they're strings right now and we can't add strings together if if we do it just looks like one big string so what we want to do is convert the strings to a double so I'm going to go ahead and put double n1 and set this equal to double dot parse double and go ahead and write fn in there and what this is going to do is take the string fn which say is like 17 and convert it to a double 17 so now we can do numerical methods on it so let's go ahead and just copy this because I'm too lazy to type it all out and paste this and put n2 and we want to convert the second number sn and n2 so now we can work with numbers instead of strings which is a whole lot easier for building a calculator so go ahead and take that sum variable and I accidentally press the little button so the sum is n1 plus n2 so easy enough so now all we have to do is once we got their numbers and converted them just print the sum out on the screen so how we do this with applets again is and remember this is outside your init method public void paint and as your print put graphics your G object so you can draw with it and what do we want to paint call the super class of paint which is of course our G object is our argument and then go ahead and put g dot draw string right there and it takes three arguments um the first one is what do you want to draw and we'll put the sum is and just put plus sum and argument uh the two other arguments are where you want it to be so we'll put 25 in 30 so it appears somewhere in the middle of the screen so just go ahead and that's that so let's run this make sure you don't have any errors and I'll go through it one last time so here's my applet right here enter first number 95.8 and enter second number 42 press OK and it says in my little applet viewer the sum is 137.8 so pretty sweet so one last time here's how it worked um, we inherited and extended everything we need to do then we created a blank double variable called sum that didn't store anything yet that's why I called it blank then the first thing it does is it goes to this init method initialize initialize you know however you say it I can't even say it right now and we pretty much 
got two variables, fn, which stored the first number, and sn. The thing is, these are string variables, so we had to convert them to numbers. Once they were numbers, we can add them up in the variable called sum. And then once we had that sum, we just printed it out using our paint object to draw on the screen, or graphics object, I guess it would be called. So that's that, and that is how you use the init method to perform whatever you need to perform before the act applet actually loads. So that's that for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to keep building some pretty sweet applets. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.